Hi, everybody. It's March 24, 2021. Apparently, library TV is no longer. Library.tv, no longer. So I tried to sign up, uh, sign in to log in to library, and I got this. Library.tv is being retired in favor of odyssey.com. New signups are disabled. What that means, I'm not sure. So sign up on odyssey.com. I don't like the cyber world. There's a reason why they called it the World Wide Web. Web. You get caught in a web. You get trapped in a web. And then you have those outside the web able to control you, eat you up like the spiders that create the web. There you are, stuck, and the predator has made you a disabled prey. Real life being killed for cyber life? Now we're all controlled. When you think that Microsoft has 90%, 90%, that's a huge, huge monopoly. 90% of the world is on Microsoft, 10% Apple, Macintosh. Hmm. So, you think you own your PC? You don't. Windows 10 really lets you know you do not own your computer. Microsoft owns it. Microsoft can do anything it wants with it. These updates that you get, Windows 10, literally disabled my computer for hours twice. Couldn't use it. But the changes that these updates bring about and the changes that we are seeing now in the cyber world, all of this causes such disruption and it pisses me off. So now library is odyssey.com. You know, library TV is being retired in favor of Odyssey. So does that mean that even though, here's Odyssey now, they've transferred all the videos over to odyssey.com, still never lose truth, and I still have my followers? Do I? I don't know. Library.tv, you can still see the videos, which, you know, I've posted several, and I get hardly any views hardly any comments. Um, yeah. For years, people have been talking about getting off YouTube. Get off YouTube. Get off YouTube. Go. You stay on YouTube because people won't leave YouTube. They won't leave YouTube. And YouTube has the most traffic. YouTube is the, the uh, monopoly. And now we are so scattered all over the place on all these different platforms, Brighton and uh, Odyssey.com, BitChute, Tumblr. Uh, uh, there's so many. But we're all over the place. And I so wish that there was just one site that we could all just leave YouTube for that one site and get that one site as famous as YouTube, but we're just scattered and all of this is deliberate, all of it. For those, well, I'll speak for myself. For me, having had a stroke and perhaps just way too much stress in my own life, processing new information is very difficult. What I could have done years ago, now it takes up way too much time. And, but the frustration is, it's just daily. 
Yeah, you know, I remember when the computer came about, when the internet came about. Oh my God, it was going to save so much time. It was going to free up time. And everybody was just going to be in this blissful state of happiness with the internet. And my gut instinct, I didn't go there. The cell phone craze and everybody, you know, getting a cell phone, I saw it as "Mm, this is not going to be good. And I guess my gut was right. We're all now trapped in a web, real life being killed off for the cyber life. And that pisses me off. Well, the videos that I posted, I guess you can still get to Library TV. You can watch them. You know, outcry to the world from Israel. Vaccine secrets. Brilliant animated video created by parents of vaccine injured children. Nobel Prize winning inventor of the PCR test, Carrie Mullis, talking about how Fauci knows nothing. Uh, Operation Paperclip, just in case you don't know about that, how we brought over the Nazi scientists. And boy, are we living. (laughs) Look at what's happening with this vaccine. Many places considering making it mandatory. And, well, they have essentially made it mandatory because a whole lot of people are getting fired for refusing that vaccine. That is duress. Nuremberg. Actually, let me pull it up because I have it on my document page here. Nuremberg. Nuremberg. Code. Permissible medical experiences. The voluntary consent. Consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. We're not given consent or we're not being informed to give that voluntary consent. And that also reminds me of this video that I saw of this woman with Governor Cuomo standing behind her. I can't believe I found it. Okay. Unbelievable. Um, Unbelievable. Listen to this woman. You want to talk about dumbed down? Here's a perfect example of it. I'm not asking what's in the the infusion. I'm not looking up all of the ingredients in the infusion. (laughs) I am sticking out my arm and I am taking the infusion. I'm not asking what's in the, in, the, in the infusion. I'm not looking up all of the ingredients in the infusion. I am sticking out my arm, and I am taking the infusion. What do you do with that? What do you do with that? Well, an awful lot of people would not <laughs> actually admit to how stupid they are, reveal it, But this woman feels absolutely fine about it. And I'm not looking up the ingredients in the infusion. The vaccine. And everybody laughs. Wow. Have we hit a whole new low. All right. Um, But that's what people are doing. Now, do you think people are getting informed consent I hope you're all saying no. You're all saying no because what is happening now happened, happened decades ago. And if you listen to uh, on my library or Odyssey channel now, this is Odyssey. So understand history so you can understand what's happening today. Vera Shiraz, a child survivor of the Holocaust and a woman who has actually done research. Oh, my God. You know, it's, it's almost like if you are a responsible, mature adult today, then you get shamed. This, this is what is a good citizen 
Oh my God. Wow. And this sick, psychotic, just subhuman creature, Cuomo, laughs. And they laugh behind her. They think it's funny. I'm not looking up the ingredients. And they laugh like no one should. <laughs> this is not what this country used to be. Okay? It's just not. All right. It's crazy. It, it's so insane now. All right. So you can listen to Vera. Uh, I've posted uh, a World Health Organization insider talking about who really controls the World Health Organization, Bill Gates. You know, when you have somebody who has the kind of money that Bill Gates has, he can pay off, pay off mainstream media reporters, all organizations, NGOs. All right, well, how about Governor DeSantis with um, many of the doctors that signed the Great Barrington Declaration? Those doctors have a different narrative than the official narrative, that one narrative that everyone has to hear and believe. That's it. The gates Fauci narrative. Two. Two so-called experts versus the thousands of experts who have come out and said, hmm, something's up with this coronavirus. It ain't quite right. And now you have states that you can compare. And one of the things that these doctors are saying, these experts in infectious disease, you can compare now Florida and states like California. Why is California doing so badly when Florida is doing fine? Florida didn't lock down. California, severe lockdown. And look at California and look at Florida. <sighs> A message to the world. Dr. Ann McClowski, outcry to the world from Israel. Vaccine secrets. Brilliant animated video. Oh, boy. Virologist Gert Vanden Bausch. A virologist who worked for Gavi, Bill, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, has come out and said, because he has a moral obligation to warn humanity, said the vaccines are going to cause uh, a whole lot of disease. Th this is my simple summaries, okay? Um, if you've not seen every, Everything's a Rich Man's Trick, JFK to 9-11, I posted this because they're taking it down on YouTube. Um, Annie Jacobson, who wrote a really uh, wonderful book on Operation Paperclip, investigative journalism. Wow. Well, we don't have that on mainstream media and in, anymore. But if you don't know anything about Operation Paperclip, you might want to take a look. Uh, good interview with Sherry Tenpenny. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. Um, Ten ways COVID vaccine can affect you. And a whole lot. Labor camp survivor, Warren's West, you know, these people who have lived under communism, who came for freedom, <laughs> have warned Americans for years. Well, the warning, it's done because we are not a free country. We are a totalitarian country. Naomi Wolf, the end of America. She just recently uh, posted an article on where it's step 10. If you don't know, Naomi Wolf, The End of America, put it in the search bar of YouTube, and 
you will find her talking about the steps that tyrants take to close down societies. And that's exactly where we are now, in a closed-down society. Caught in the web. All right, well, you know, last night I also, hours trying to just get a downloader to download off of sites like Brighton and um, and odyssey.com. Every, every downloading app or, you know, um, software wouldn't download, wouldn't work. And I can't believe I spend so much time to come up failed <laughs> all the time now. I don't know if you're experiencing that, but I am. And it wears you out. And I feel worn out. But this video that I posted, which, well, oh, the media could not be loaded, either because the server or network failed or because the format is not supported, but when I post on these sites, this is why you stay on YouTube, because you do want to reach as many people as possible with this information. 37 views, two comments, and the comments, what happened to the video? Okay, well, look at this link. Please circulate. I always leave the links. So click on that. And let's just listen to a few minutes of Dr. Simone Gold, who's been fired from her position in a hospital because how dare she come out and say, well, there are treatments for this coronavirus. But this is a very good talk. I so want people to see it. It's inspirational. And I don't like the fact that we're just these lost puppies, pathetically just waiting for Gatto. If you don't know that play, just stick it in the search bar on YouTube. Waiting for Gatto. G-O-D-O-D-T. There's a play written by Beckett. Very popular play. But that's what life has become, just waiting, just waiting, just waiting. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are prepping to survive. You know, uh, so many people are having their careers destroyed, reputations ruined, because we are now a Stasi state. You can only have one opinion, one view, You know, and I, I do do an awful lot of reading of articles and uh, paying attention as much as I can and scared little puppies. That's what Americans are. On the whole, scared little puppies. And we've moved into a time when people, their fear is so great that they're remaining silent. They, we're getting more and more afraid of one another. I cannot stand how, you know, I grew up at a time when talking about what, what took place in Germany. Well, I grew up in New York. And a lot of my friends were Jews. So, discussing what was going on in Germany was a conversation that was had often.
and to think that, you know, it was not ancient history growing up in the 60s and 70s. It was not ancient history what took place. And then to just be living what we're living, repeating history. It's so heartbreaking, it's beyond belief. It is just something so incomprehensible that we could have allowed what is taking place. And what is taking place? You know, that Nuremberg... We're not getting informed consent. This is an experimental vaccine. Experimental. The big pharma companies have even come out and said it's experimental. And this study, we're all now just guinea pigs. The study won't be concluded until 2023. People are lining up to get this experimental vaccine. Well, giving one's consent you're able to exercise free power of choice, which a whole lot of people are not, without the intervention of any element of force, fraud, deceit, duress, overreaching, or other ulterior form of constraint or coercion, and should have sufficient knowledge and comprehension of the elements of the subject matter involved as to enable him to make an understanding and enlightened decision, and that is not happening. So fortunately, I'm not sure who brought the lawsuit to the international court, violation of Nuremberg Code. Okay. You know what duress is? Telling employees, if you don't get vaccinated, you're fired. That's force. That's duress. It's in violation of the Nuremberg Code. So I suggest to all of you who are being hit with that choice, before you get vaccinated, you have your employer sign, sign that they are in violation of the Nuremberg Code. The experimental subject, and that's what we all are, should be made known to him the nature, duration, and purpose of the experiment all inconveniences and hazards reasonably to be expected and the effects upon his health or person which may possibly come from his participation in the experiment. And none of that is what these who are vaccinating the public with. They're not and it doesn't matter if it's an employer, doesn't matter if it's a nurse, doesn't matter if it's a doctor. You can have them all sign that they are in violation of the Nuremberg Code. It's so upsetting what's happening today the duty and responsibility for ascertaining the quality of the consent rests upon each individual who initiates, directs, or engages in the experiment. It is a personal duty and responsibility which may not be delegated to another with impunity. The experiment should be so designed and based on the results of animal experimentation and a knowledge of the natural history of the disease. None of that has taken place. They went right to the human being 
And frankly, these animal experiments, well, that's a whole other story that I digress. Allowing monkeys and whatever animal, hey, we're just going to inject you. Too bad you die. Look, some... I, I, maybe we're in hell. Maybe this is hell. And maybe those of us who really live our principles, maybe we're working our way out of hell, the next life. We won't be on planet hell. I don't know. But this is really... It's just so obvious that it's, it, yeah, it feels like hell. The experiment should be so conducted as to avoid all unnecessary physical and mental suffering and injury. That's not happening either. But anyone, anyone involved in the vaccination putting these shots into people's arms of an experimental vaccine, you are all, all held responsible under the Nuremberg Code. All of you. Scared puppies. Just... No experiment should be conducted where there is an a priori priori, reason to believe that death or disabling injury will occur. VAERS, the Vaccine Adverse Effects Reporting System, CDC. Check it out. How many people have died? How many people are injured? from this experimental vaccine. They say it's a coincidence. What a coincidence that thousands, tens of thousands have been injured and well, the last number, 1,600 and I think 54 died in just the United States. Huh. Well, because we are a nation filled with people, unfortunately, unfortunately, like this, they drag us down. And that's what happens. When you have the majority walking the low road, they pull you down. They make your life dangerous. And that's why I've been saying for 10 years, the ordinary people who are going along with all of this, the ordinary people who are lazy, narcissistic, oh, I love my comfort zone, and don't you infringe upon it, those are the people who are our true enemy. And... They're winning. I don't, you know, this video, 16,280 views, it needs millions of views. Please click on the link. Even if you know so much, You need to circulate the information. You need to circulate the information. That's imperative. That's our only choice. And, you know, oh boy, South Africa Chief Justice exposes COVID vaccine as dangerous. Another video. But I don't know what to do about this odyssey. You know, now we're in odyssey.com. Um, 
do you have to, those who are the followers, do you have to, uh, sign in with a whole new account or something? I don't know. But these videos have to go somewhere. You know, outcry to the world. I mean, isn't it interesting? Israel has become the, the prison the Jews. It's called the green passport. We're not told to wear it, but what they have done. Sorry for that. Um, but it's interesting to me that it's the Israelis, it's the Jews. That you would think would get what is happening in Israel. The real disease we have whether Jew, Gentile, doesn't matter. The real disease is, it's a spiritual disease. It's the lack of living a life based on moral principle. And it's, 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 I just want to live an easy, comfortable life. So if it means getting a green pass so that I can have fun. I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. Well, I would have thought that it would have been the Jews that would be able to see what's happening and would have said, uh-uh, no way, Jose. We ain't going there. But they went there. They went there. So, it's heartbreaking. It's called the green passport. We're not told to wear it. But what they have done is they have essentially overnight created a second class citizenry, a, a, a true medical apartheid that is uh, disallowing healthy, law abiding, tax paying citizens from entering their places of culture um, if they do not participate in this experiment. It's that it's that simple. You literally we've been told there are people who have been kicked out of their choirs, out of their pools, out of their gyms. I don't know who's going to hear the message we're saying. I don't know what is going to become of it. I know that there is no other option than to give every fiber of energy and strength into battling this because because there is no other option. There is there is everything to lose and everything to gain. There's, and, and um, I think it's actually never been simpler in some ways. And I, I believe that, that it's, um, I believe quite simply that we are privileged to have this truth. It, there is truth that I think is a common denominator against all, all these different people, different countries, different languages, and we all are seeing and speaking a very clear truth. And I think that that truth is an absolute gift, but it's, it's an obligation. And it wasn't given to us to just sit at home and with this apathy and hope for the best. We've got to all come together because really this is how we win these making these connections between us country country after country that is that is the only thing that these governments feel fear they have the most they have the wealth of empires behind them but but when the people realize okay <laughs> all right i don't know what's going on but many of you have left comments saying you can't quite watch the videos on library TV. I guess Odyssey TV, same thing. Let's see if it plays now. No. Okay. What this woman has to say is very, very important. Very important. Um, YouTube. It's 
it's that simple. You literally, we've been told there are people who have been kicked out of their choirs, out of their pools, out of their gyms. Um, like I said, there's incredible social pressure and division between families and this, this um, illusion of science that you're not participating in it, so therefore you become this virus carrying um, threat to the rest of us, even though of course there's there's simply no existing safety studies. So it's really all, um, it's really in the name of science, they're actually doing something that's that's really just just an illusion. What is happening with people from abroad entering Israel, for example, by an airplane? What do they have to do to participate in society again? So it's, it's, it's one of the worst displays of what's happening you'll see in the airport. They, uh, I actually just this morning read someone's personal um, account of coming home. They are the many and they are the small. They have nothing. Sorry. Well, this got screwed up because I went to the YouTube video and it came in at seven minutes and or six minutes and we were only at two minutes. What this woman has to say is very, 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 very important. We are being experimented on. This is, well, will this video be taken down? Probably. I cannot believe that this is life now. I cannot believe that so many people just bow down, submitted like little children to their daddy and mommy, government official, turned over all of their freedom, decision making, their life to people who are known. You know, these politicians, they're known to be power-hungry psychopaths. That's what we did. Look, I'm just posting this video. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I honestly don't. <laughs> I hope you come over to Odyssey, try to watch the videos, but those videos that I have posted of other people. I have also linked below to where I got the video. So if you can't watch it on Odyssey, click on the link below and watch it and circulate it more importantly.